We're live from Chevy Chase. I hope you had time to grab that second cup of coffee because it's now time for our Couch Convo. And today we're talking about art made in the beautiful and delicate medium of glass. And we are joined by Liz Hafner from the Glass National Art Museum, which is an expansion of the Art Center of the Bluegrass in Danville. So welcome, Liz. Hi, thanks for having me. Okay, so the Art Center in Danville has been around for like 20 years or yes. so? Yeah, it has. And so you all have done something new and you've expanded with this National Glass Museum. Tell us about it. Yeah, absolutely. Last fall, we held a retrospective for Stephen Rolf Powell. He's a long time, he was a long time Danville resident, professor of art at Center College, and a glass artist, a really world renowned glass artist. And he passed in 2019. Mm -hmm. So alongside his widow, Shelley Powell, we held a retrospective for the community so they could really come in and see his glass up close, see a, the largest collection of his glass work up close. And from that, um, the board of directors and our executive director worked with Shelley and were able to acquire a really large portion of his collection. And that's what's turned into the Glass Museum. Wow, that's so amazing. Such an elevated experience yeah. because I'm a collector of myself, not of glass, but mm -hmm. of crystal. Right. And so I'm a big fan of glass. And yeah. it's it's way more than people realize. When you come in, you're, you're not seeing a regular vase. You're seeing something extraordinary. Absolutely. And Steve was really known for his use of color. And so what's really fascinating about glass in general is it's forged by fire but it creates something so delicate and so colorful. And so when you come in, you're not only seeing the beauty of the glass itself, you're seeing how it interacts with the light around mm. you. And there's really nothing like it. We're actually um, funding right now to make our own on-site glass blowing studio. Oh, so awesome. that museum visitors get to watch demonstrations and really see artists um, make these work because there's it's really special. That is awesome. Yeah. And you're going to have different traveling exhibits that come in and out mm -hmm. along with the permanent exhibits exactly. as well. Yes, yeah. We, we really am, are looking to champion glass artists from around the country, around the world. Um, we will have a rotating exhibit space in our upstairs gallery, and that'll feature other artists um, after the next year or so. We currently have a Powell exhibit up there right now with his Echo series. It's in a dark gallery, and um, without giving away too much, there's really, you've probably seen nothing like it before. It's oh, a quite wow. moving experience. It's in this very dark gallery, and and these um, beautiful bowls. Um, um, you almost feel like they're floating and they're just the color is pooling over onto the space around you. It's it really magical. It sounds amazing. Yeah. So yeah. is this a place you, that you want families to come with small children? Absolutely. How good is your insurance? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> This is what I'm worried about. No, we want to make arts uh, accessible to everybody. Um, thanks to a generous donor right now, we're free admission. And, you know, I think a parent um, can make sure that a child's not running around the space. <laughs> we absolutely want children. We're an art center at our core, and there's nothing like showing um, the children in our community. Yeah. Um, Nurtures them. They show appreciation. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, here's the thing. We always talk about Lexington and Louisville mm -hmm. being in Kentucky because, of course, we're the biggest cities. Yeah. Big, biggest cities. But Southern Living just voted yeah. Danville, like one of the top cities in Kentucky. Yeah. It's such a beautiful place. If people have not visited Danville, they uh, are crazy. There's mm -hmm. so much to offer. And it's such a short drive from yes. Lexington, too. So short. And I will say, I am from a small town in Tennessee, but have lived in many big cities in my life. There is no place like Danville. The community is so welcoming. Our shops and our restaurants, um, of course, the Art Center, Center College. We have so many staples there to make for a really fun outing that I don't know why, if you live in Lexington or Louisville, you wouldn't want to spend the day in Danville. Absolutely. It's one of my favorite small towns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, in addition to the beautiful art, you all are opening a gift shop and a cafe. Tell yes. us about that. So our gift shop is live now. It's a place for a lot of our local artists to display their work, but also regional, state, national artists, and then a lot of like carefully selected, curated goods, um, gifts, for children and books and it, whenever you're trying to find that unique gift you'll yes. want to come to Fern and yes. shop. Yes, well, absolutely. Thank you mm -hmm. so much for being here. All of the information is on the screen. We encourage everyone to visit.